Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I'm getting ready to have a conversation with my OBGYN. Uh, my name is Christina Consolo. I'm a long-term um, patient of Dr. Wolf, and I've left him a couple messages about um, the radiation levels in pregnancy, and I was wondering if there has been any kind of um, warnings issued by the Academy of Obstetrics or anything about pregnant women flying right now. The radiation that we're getting when you're flying? Well, the radiation that we are getting from Fukushima is extraordinarily high right now, even on the ground. It's about 40,000 times higher in the air. And I'm working with a research group, and um, they've been taking Geiger counters on planes. And the levels are just extraordinary. And I was just wondering if there has been any kind of warning from the College of Obstetrics about pregnant women flying right now. Okay, let me ask them real quick. Hold on one second. All right. Okay, hold on. Let me ask you. Okay. C-O-N-S-O-L-O. -O. Okay, and then it's K or C, your first name? C. Okay, so what questions do you have? Um, well, I've left a couple messages for Dr. Wolf um, over the last few weeks. I'm working with some research groups around the country measuring the levels of radiation that are coming over from Fukushima. And um, we have just started... Yeah. Okay. We've just started having um, researchers taking Geiger counters on planes, and the levels of radiation in the air are extraordinarily high. And I was just wondering if you have had any kind of uh, warning or notice or discussion from the American Academy of Obstetrics about warnings for pregnant women who um, might be flying right now. There's been some other really alarming statistics that have come out um, straight from the CDC about excess mortality figures. In the first 14 weeks since Fukushima, there was an excess of 14,000 deaths in the United States. Most of them were in the Pacific Northwest, and a high number of them were infants under 12 months. Is that research being shared with you guys at all? This is a mainstream published study that came out about a month ago. I'm just wondering why nobody's talking about this. It's obvious that there's a really big problem going on. And no one seems to be aware of it, including most of my friends that, that are expecting right now. People that I know have had no warnings from their doctors whatsoever. And there's increased mortality as high as 40% in infants, um, stillbirths, miscarriages, infant mortality, maternal death. And it's not just in the Pacific Northwest. It's been reported in Philadelphia, which happens to have the highest level of radiation in their drinking water also. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just um, really amazed and disturbed that nobody is talking about this. And that's why I've been trying to get a hold of, of Dr. Wolf to ask him, like, you know, what the deal is. Do you guys have um, an email for the office where I could send you some links to these studies so you can see them for yourself? Um, no, we don't have uh, an official office email, but if you, if you want to mail them, 
Yeah. Um, well, if you just went on Google and you searched 14,000 excess deaths since Fukushima, the study will pop right up. And you can do the same with the infant mortality and miscarriage and stillbirth statistics. I mean, it's, it's all been, it's public information. It's just only the researchers seem to be paying attention to it. And it's not being talked about, about from the AMA or, or really anyone. And I, and I don't know why, because it's, it's, like I said, very upsetting to see this happening. All right, will you please pass this message along to Dr. Wolf and um, tell him to call me if he wants any further information? Sure. All right, and what was your name again? All right, thank you. You can draw your own conclusions from that phone call. Mm -hmm.